Welcome back. Boy, that was exciting. I'll have to tell you that. We have said goodbye to Jeannie. Jeannie has got $53,000 in her pocketbook right now and is heading out to have a couple of pina coladas, I hope, and a good time. Let us get started right now. Let us meet two new players. Let's say hello to, I can't see that, Holly. Hello, Holly. Introduce Hi, yourself, please. My name is Holly Heska. I'm originally from Los Angeles and have been here all 24 years. I recently graduated from USC, and I currently work as a fitness instructor at a health club. Very good. Well, you sound like you have a little busy life going for yourself, Holly. Good luck to you. Thank you. And let us meet uh, Anne, our challenger here. Say hello, Ann. Hi. My name is Ann Arlene. I'm originally from Wisconsin, and I currently live in beautiful North Hollywood. Yes. And I'm a hypnotherapist. A hypnotherapist? Uh huh. That means you hypnotize people, obviously. Yes. And uh, you handle, like, no smoking, loss of weight, and all of that good stuff? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Absolutely. Yes, terrific. I'm not going to look at you too long, then, man, because... It's not you. I'll be wandering on the set of Wheel of Fortune, and nobody will know why. Okay, let us get started right now with our game. Let's take a look at the Blockbusters board. I'll be asking Vanna for a B. Okay, each of those initials represents a one-word answer to a question. And as the challenger, you're going to get the advantage first. You can win by connecting top to bottom. That is red to red, and you can do that with as few as four. Holly, as our champion, you have to connect side to side. That is white to white, and you're going to do that with at least five. Uh, but don't forget, it always takes two games to win the match, and in the next game, and, uh, Holly, our champion, will get the advantage. That's all you have to hear. Let's get started right now with game number one. What letter, please? E. Toss-up questions. Hands on buzzers, ladies. What E is where the smallest bone in your body is? N. Elbow? Incorrect. I'll repeat it again for Holly. What E is where the smallest bone in your body is located? The ear. In the ear. That is correct. <laughs> Holly's on the board. That is white, working side to side. We'll pick again. The S, please. S. What S does the average person spend one-third of his life doing? And is what... Holly. Sleeping. Sleeping. That is correct. And is what sex will help you do faster because it relaxes you. Sleep was the answer we were talking about. Okay, Holly, white, still in control, working side to side, we'll pick. The M. M. What M? We're dressed in red army uniforms and put in a car painted to look like a Soviet patrol car to help a tire salesman escape through the Berlin Wall. Mannequins. Mannequins is what we were looking for there. We'll be right back with another M right after this. Mannequins. Could have been moles, could have been anything. Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs states that everyone needs love. And what better place to get it than Game Show Network? That's right, it's love in the early evening, five, count them five days a week with that daring duo, romance, Richard Dawson and Gene Rayburn. They're spreading the love, smooching contestant after contestant, making everyone feel warm, cared for, and fuzzy. Get the love you need weekdays at 8 and 8.30 only on Game Show Network. Listen, I, I keep calling... Uh... I keep calling Holly the champion and Anne the challenger, and actually they came out together here, and we had to put them someplace, so we put Holly in the champion's chair and Anne in the challenger's chair. So uh, we're going to find out who the real champion is going to be at the end of this game. But let's get started right now. We are in the middle of game number one. No one has control. We're going to start with another M question. Hands on buzzers, please. What M runs a university where you can take courses such as carbonization, shortening, basic refrigeration, Buns and Big Macs. Holly. McDonald's. McDonald's is right. White stone control working side to side. We'll pick again. I'll have the C, please. C. What C is protected from air pollution by its outer husks? That's Holly. Corn. Corn is right. Corn is right. Don't worry about it, Ann. You're going to get in here sometime. It takes a little while to get that rhythm down, but you'll do it. All right, Holly, still in control. Where are we going? The R. Please. R. If she gets this, she will win game number one. Ann, you've got to try and block her here. What R does tradition say is the city you will return to? That is Holly. Rome. Rome is yeah. right. Yeah. If you toss a coin into the Chevy Fountain, you will return to Rome. So, Holly... 
has just won game number one. If she wins the next game, she is the champion. And Ann, you know what you're going to do. You're going to have to block here. You've got you to try and get in, and you're going to have to try and uh, win this next game just to push it to the tiebreaker. And uh, really, that's about all I can tell you. Don't get disheartened, as I said. It takes a little while just to get that rhythm to hit and answer, but you work on it. You're a pretty bright girl. I think you're going to do it. Let's get started right now. Let us take a look at our board for game number two, please. Here he comes flying into place, and in this game, White, working top to bottom, has the advantage, can do it with as few as four. Red is working side to side, has to do it with five. What letter, please? M. What M? Has a horse for a mother and a donkey. That's Holly. A mule. A mule is right. And a donkey for a father. Mule was the right answer. Off we go again, and White in control, working top to bottom. A. What A is where Little Abner's hometown was supposed to be located? And in his honor, they now have an amusement theme park called Dog Patch USA in this state. And Alabama? Incorrect. I'll repeat it again for Holly. What A is where Little Abner's hometown was supposed to be located? And in his honor, they now have an amusement theme park called Dog Patch USA in this state. Arkansas. Arkansas was it. That was the answer. White, still in control, working top to bottom, we'll pick. The H, please. H. What H should you always put on your youngster in cold weather? <laughs> Holly. Hat. Hat is right. <laughs> because much of the body heat will escape through the head. Hat was the answer we were looking for, and Holly had it. Holly had the answer about the hat. Say that three times very quickly. All right, Holly, in control, working top to bottom, and we'll pick. The U. U. If she gets this... That is it. And we'll, we'll say goodbye to you, and Holly will be off to the gold run. You've got to block here, Ann. What you are doctors now using to treat glaucoma and these high-frequency waves? Ann. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I'll repeat it again for Holly. What you are doctors now using to treat glaucoma and these high-frequency waves are reported to bring relief for three years or more. Ultraviolet. Incorrect. Incorrect. A break for Anne. It is ultrasound. Ultrasound is what we were looking for. Another you question. Another you question. Hands on buzzers, ladies. Again, if Holly gets it, she's the champ. What you is the small punching bag shaped piece of skin that dangles from the roof of the mouth? Holly. The uvula? Uvula is right. Straight up the board, Holly had it, and Holly's got the championship. Come on over here, Holly, you're going to join me and head on to the goal run right now. We have to say goodbye to Ann. Ann, I want to thank you for being here with us on Blockbusters, and you have an Ortho Oak Day Bay for all your efforts. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Wow. We'll be back with more right after this. Hi, I'm Gary Collins. Block, followed by trivia trap, then a potpourri of games on the Weekend Showcase. We are out of time. Holly's going to have some time about thinking about playing that goal run. We'll see you tomorrow here on Blockbusters. I'm Bill Raffi. See you then. Bye-bye. A member of our studio audience will receive a new air on super lightweight, non-stop carry-on luggage, casual, practical design with your lifestyle in mind, attractive luggage you can count on non-stop, furnished by Amelia Earhart. And departing contestants will receive a heavy-duty tap-in built-in dishwasher featuring two stainless steel revolving arms, ten-timer selections, porcelain enamel tub and door liner furnished by Tappan. Or Ortho space-saving day bed featuring a solid oak frame, two mattresses, pop-up unit, and five-piece comforter set furnished by Ortho Mattress Company. The Regency R1070 programmable 10-channel scanner lets you tune in to police, fire emergency, and weather broadcasts furnished by Regency. Vitamix, stainless steel, three-minute bread maker and home yogurt factory that juices without waste, cooks without burning, freezes instant ice cream, and offers 800 other recipes. Jules Jurgensen's Gents Classic Series Diamond Dial Watch. Elegantly styled with 20 genuine diamonds, the Classic Series furnished by Jules Jurgensen. Lazy Boys Recline a Rocker. You may enjoy quality and comfort as you rock, recline, or relax furnished by Lazy Boys. Fast, effective Q-Tex Remover. It actually locks in moisture so your nails get stronger every time you use it. 
Plus, you with the Butler Gum Toothbrush. Help fight black and help reduce gum disease. The Butler Gum Toothbrush and a special two-for-one package. Get Butler Gum, the better brush. Because of production error, a question was replaced in the program editor. This is Rich Jeffrey speaking for Blockbusters, a Mark Goodson television.